Let's talk about faith over fear. I have a t-shirt that says that, faith over fear. Um, that's what I've been thinking about as we've been reading together chapter one of our new church-wide study book, The Story of Jesus. If you haven't picked yours up yet, I hope you'll get a chance to grab one. It's not too late to uh, start in on the study, get involved in a group, would love for you to be involved. But today, as we think about faith over fear, we see the examples of Mary and Joseph. Mary is visited by the angel who tells her these amazing things are going to happen to her. And the Bible tells us that Mary was greatly troubled at his words, the words of this angel. The Bible also indicates that Joseph had trepidation about what he was supposed to be doing. Um, he was worried about how he was going to quietly divorce Mary, who was pregnant when they had not gotten married yet. Um, and the angel tells Joseph, do not fear. The Bible is clear and acknowledges that we as human humans experience fear, but God tells us there's no need to be afraid. And even in that fear, we can still act in faith. We can have faith over our fears. So what does that look like um, in your life today? What is it that's greatly troubling your heart? What is it that's causing you fear today? And how even with that fear, can you still act in faith? And what I mean by that is even if you can't quite get rid of the fear, how can you still act? Fear is a feeling, faith is an action. So like Mary, even though she was afraid, she was willing to do what God had asked her to do. And the same with Joseph, even though he was afraid, he followed the angel's instructions and married Mary. So in your life today, what's troubling you? What do you have fear about? And then ask God, what is the next right thing I can do to act in faith? Did you see Frozen 2? Do you remember that song about the next right thing? All you have to do is the next right thing. Just that one step that you can take to act in faith, even if you're feeling some fear about it. So talk to God about what it is that's troubling you, what it is you're afraid of, Ask him, what is the next right thing I can do to act faithfully? And then be willing to listen and to take that step, even if you're still troubled or in fear. Remember that fear is a feeling. Faith is an action. And you can take that action even when you're still feeling a little bit of fear. And know that God is with you and God is saying to you, do not be afraid for I am with you. I hope that blesses your day and I hope that you will continue to join in with us in our study of the story of Jesus.